In Oregon, we pride ourselves in being a welcoming and caring state. We value our communities, treasure our friends, and watch out for our neighbors. Of course, our community includes seniors and people with disabilities. And while the lives of most seniors and people with disabilities are independent, full, and satisfying, some are not. Instead of being rich with activity, some people can become lonely or isolated. For seniors, memory problems and dementia can rob a person of their ability to manage their day-to-day -day lives. Some individuals with a disability need extra help. Perhaps their home is not accessible or their health begins to fail, yet they're too proud to ask. Usually family or friends are there to recognize what's happening and see that these individuals get the care and assistance they need. But some people fall through the cracks. Perhaps their kids live in another state. Perhaps many of their friends have passed. For these people, they need someone to notice, someone to care. That's what the Gatekeeper program is all about. It's simply about caring, being aware and calling for help if you think you see signs of a senior or person with disabilities in need. Well, who qualifies to be a Gatekeeper? Anyone who interacts with seniors or people with disabilities. Do you visit the homes of seniors or people with disabilities? Do you have seniors or people with disabilities come to your place of business? Do you speak on the phone with seniors or people with disabilities? Do you have friends, family, or neighbors who are seniors or people with disabilities? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you can be a gatekeeper. In other words, almost anyone can be a gatekeeper. And as you will see, it's really simple. Come along as I show you just a few examples of situations where people were helped, where lives were saved, simply because someone noticed, someone cared, and someone made a phone call. One common example relates to people who interact with customers over the phone. You may think it's hard to know much about someone you only speak with briefly on the phone, and we're not asking you to pry or inquire about people's lives in any way. We're just asking you to be aware. And if something doesn't seem right, to make a call. And remember, one phone call can save a life. The most common red flag is when a person's bills or payments suddenly start changing. If a customer who always paid their bills in full and on time begins to miss payments, or if their $30 a month water bill suddenly triples, it could be a sign that something is wrong. I don't understand. I always pay my bill on time. I see that you do, but we have not received a payment in the last I, 60 days. I, I know. I sent a check last week. I'm just sure of it. We haven't received it, and if we don't receive it in the next 48 hours, I'm afraid we're going to have to cut off your power. I've had this same phone number for 40 years, and I've always been a great customer, and now you, you want to cut off my phone? This is the power company, Mrs. Smith, not the phone company. That's, that's what I meant. Anyway, I, I'm, I just know that I sent that check. Under these kinds of circumstances, it's fine to inquire about what's wrong. If a person sounds confused, if they seem unaware or forgetful, it's a red flag. If they insist they've paid, but clearly they have not, it's worth taking note. In this circumstance, it's time to call the Organ Aging and Disability Resource Connection, or ADRC, at 1-855-ORE-ADRC. Simply by calling, you can be assured that someone will reach out to see if your customer needs help. In one recent case, a gatekeeper who was a bank teller called because it appeared an 84-year-old client who had a joint account with her daughter was being taken advantage of. The daughter had made some very large withdrawals, drained the account of money, and came into the bank looking to open a joint credit card. I don't see why this is so complicated. All I want to do is open a credit card with my mom. I do understand, but I'm not able to open a joint credit card without your mom's permission. But we have a joint account. Look, 
My mom's not well, and she relies on me to take care of her finances. I'm not going to drag her down here just to fill out some paperwork. Later, when the teller tried to contact the senior client, the daughter would intercept the calls. One call to ADRC was all it took to make a referral to Adult Protective Services and confirm that the senior client was unaware of being taken advantage of. That one phone call prevented their customer from being potentially bankrupted by an unscrupulous relative. Another example of a potential gatekeeper is any sort of delivery driver, such as a mail carrier. Now, if a senior customer stops picking up their mail, try knocking on their door. If no one answers, think about calling the ADRC. Or if someone answers and seems unwell or disheveled, think about calling. Now, imagine this was your mother or father. Wouldn't you appreciate someone taking the time to make a call? Another common example relates to bus drivers and transport services for people with disabilities. Drivers for these services get to know their customers well, often going up to or into the homes of their customers. Keep your eyes open. If you notice living conditions deteriorating, or if a customer who's always been healthy and clean starts to appear ill or ungroomed, give us a call. And it's not just watching for signs of illness or dementia. Sometimes it can be very practical things that impact independence. For example, recently a Lyft driver noticed a regular customer who used a wheelchair had to maneuver three steps to get out of their home. One afternoon, the customer had a fall as a result of this unsafe situation. You okay? Yeah. Those stairs can be tough. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the ADRC? No. They've got a number you should call. I'll bet they could connect you to some resources to build a wheelchair ramp. The customer made a call to see if the ADRC could assist in finding resources to get a ramp installed. Thanks to that phone call, this customer is now able to safely get in and out of their home. Now let's look at one more example from real life. One apartment manager who's part of the Gatekeeper program called because he observed that one of his tenants spent six hours on a bench in front of the apartment complex. Well, you know, they'll be here at any time. But Ruth, <laughs> you've been out here since first thing this morning. Oh, it hasn't been that long. Anyway, sometimes it takes taxis a while to get here. You just need to be patient. This same tenant has been losing weight neglecting her appearance as well as her apartment, and had recently locked herself out a few times. Fearing dementia, the apartment manager called the ADRC. Because of that phone call, this woman is now receiving help from a caregiver in her home. She's happier and healthier. These are just a few real-world examples of people whose independence and health were improved because someone cared enough to call. We're not asking you to be social workers or even know what kind of assistance is available. That's our job. We're simply asking you to care enough to call the ADRC at 1-855-ORE-ADRC. You see, it's really very simple. Be alert, be compassionate, and make a phone call. That's all there is to it. And with your efforts and the efforts of hundreds of other gatekeepers around the state, we can help ensure that all Oregonians with disabilities remain independent and that all our seniors' years are truly golden. Thank you. <laughs>